Good morning students. So in today's lecture I will discuss about the NMOS inverter and the pull up to pull down ratios of NMOS. So starting with the first topic that is NMOS inverter. You can see the diagram of NMOS inverter. Right? So basically a basic requirement for producing a complete range of logic circuits is the inverter. This is needed for restoring logic levels. The basic inverter circuit requires a transistor with source connected to ground and a load resistor from drain to the positive supply. The output is taken from the drain and the input is applied between the gate and ground. Resistors are not conveniently produced on the silicon substrate even modest values occupy excessively large areas so that some other form of load resistance is required. So a convenient way to solve this problem is to use the depletion mode transistor as a load. And according to the circuit of NMOS inverter, we are using a depletion mode transistor as a load. With no current drawn from the output, the current IDS that is drain to source current for both the transistors must be same. For the depletion mode transistor, the gate is connected to the source so it is always on. In this configuration, the depletion mode device is called the pull up transistor and the enhancement mode device is called the pull down transistor. So basically pull up and pull down are the second names of depletion and enhancement mode transistor. As input voltage increases, as input voltage increases and exceeds the pull down threshold voltage, the current begins to flow. The output voltage V out decreases and the subsequent increases in the V input voltage that will cause the pull down transistor to come out of the saturation and become resistive. But initially the pull up transistor is resistive when the pull down transistor turns on. For understanding the NMOS inverter, you must be having knowledge of all the three operating regions, saturation mode, linear mode and the cutoff mode. Right? And next we have the output waveform of an NMOS inverter. You can see the output waveform. The waveform is between the IDS and VDS, drain to source current and drain to source voltage. And during transition, the gain is what? V out upon V input. And the point at which V output is equals to V input is known as the inverter voltage that is V inf. And V inf can be shifted by the variation of the ratio of the pull up to pull down resistances where ZPU stands for pull up resistance and ZPD stands for pull down resistance and Z is the ratio of the length to width of the transistor. So it is all about the NMOS inverter right and next we have the next topic with determination of pull up to pull down ratio for an NMOS inverter. There are two inverters, one NMOS inverter driven directly by another inverter. In this, we will consider the depletion mode transistor for which VG is equals to zero under all the conditions and further assume that in order to cascade inverters without degradation of levels, we are aiming to meet the requirement. What is the requirement? It is the condition where V input equals to V output that is equals to what? V in V in is inverter voltage. It is the requirement input voltage equals to output voltage equals to inverter voltage. For equal margins around the inverter threshold, we set inverter voltage equals to 0.5 of VDD or we can say that half of supply voltage. At this point, both the transistors are in saturation and as you all know that in saturation region, the current of 
drain to source is like this it is the equation of the current in saturation mode now we will rewrite this equation in two forms that is in depletion mode and in enhancement mode in depletion mode the transistor is known as pull up and in, in enhancement mode the transistor is known as pull down so in depletion mode the vgs is zero right the vgs in zero and by putting vgs equals to zero in this equation we got ids equals to this k w by l minus vtd square upon 2 vtd stands for threshold voltage in depletion mode wl pu stands for pull up similarly next case enhancement mode where vgs equals to inverter voltage so we put vgs equals to v input v inf that is inverter voltage we got equation in this form right where pd stands for pull down since the currents are same so we are equating both these equations after equating equation these two equations we got equation in this form w and l are the width and the length of the pull up and pull down transistors pd stands for pull down transistors pu stands for pull up transistors and next we have z is the resistance so zpd stands for resistance in pull down transistor zpu stands for resistance in pull up transistors so it is the ratio of length upon width so it is the value of pull up and pull down resistances that is length upon width upon of pull up and pull down transistors right and putting the these value or we can say that using this equation and this previous equation so we got equation in this form you need to solve this derivation by yourself at home only then you can understand the derivation right by solving this equation by rearranging the terms from here to there so we got inverter voltage equals to what vt that is threshold voltage minus vtd threshold voltage in depletion mode upon under the root pull up resistance to pull down resistance it is the required equation of the inverter voltage right now we have to substitute the typical values of these terms that is vt equals to 0.2 of vdd vtd stands for minus 0.6 of vdd and inverter voltage equals to what 0.5 of vdd by putting all these values in this equation and solving this equation we got pull up to pull down ratio is 4 by 1 that is pull up to pull down ratio is what 4 ratio 1 so it is all about the nmos inverter and pull up to pull down ratios of nmos thank you